in the garage, do my own thing. Today, I have to paint pumpkins. Today, I have yes. to paint pumpkins. Painting pumpkins, yeah, the Angry Birds. I'm gonna make bomb, and he's gonna make red. <laughs> we did the minions last year, they turned out really, really good, really cute, yeah. Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We have Doug in the house. We are going to apply the floor today in the car that, as much as we can while D Doug is helping me. That's what we're going to do. On the floor part, I wanted to do each panel individually, but as I got looking at it, I changed my mind, which... Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. surprise, but, surprise. I, but I'm allowed, you know, if you know Here's what I'm saying. your car. It's like Jimbo. Like when I when we fixed Jimbo's car up, we were fixing it up for a field beater. He changed his mind and he fixed it up and now he's going to put it on the road. So I'm, I've changed my mind. I'm going to make one panel for this section up to here. And that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to pass this off to Doug. And Doug's going to cut me that four panel, please and thank you. We're just going to get started anyways. If you want a few magnets to hold it down, you know where they're at, Douglas. Do, I do. Alrighty, so I have this piece in the back. We've never ever applied this piece in the back. Uh, we've never we've never applied it. Um, I have it all bent up, and um, it's time to put it in. As I get in here, I've got it marked out. I just took and marked it where I want the holes drilled. Just kind of looking, yeah. Mark where I want the holes drilled, and then I marked. Um, this piece of metal to this piece of metal, you can see these little black lines on there. Um, these pieces are going to be welded together at the same time, so I'm going to take a little V out of each one. And then I'll be able to apply them together and only have one spot of weld holding them down. Uh, that's, that's my game plan on that. We'll do this one first, and then we'll do that when you know exactly how I did it, or how I'm going to do it. But that's my plan. So I have... Some marks all set out. I'm going to have a hard time getting I should have worn my sneakers today. It's hard getting in, in and outside the car sometimes because of what's going on. So I have this piece that faces this, and then I have the floor pan that faces on that, or in the back. So this is what I'm going to do. Watch this. Sills are nice and sturdy and strong. Huh? Beautiful. Um, if Joey, we'll go over that after. I didn't even want to scratch them. I should have stayed off them. Um, now I have this piece here. I'm going to take some, a few V marks out of it because I'm going to apply it with the other piece the exact same time. I have the zip cut over here. I have a cord over here. We're going to do it. We'll get it done as much as we can. As much as we can. I want to put my gloves on. So the inside sill is applied on both sides of the outside sill. That's the hard part. Um, basically, that is the hard part when you get to um, fixing up an old car like this, is to be able to fix this piece in here. This is this in here, this inside sill, when you look on the other side, that's where a lot of the rot, you know, the outside you can put a sill on no problem, but to get in there in between that frame, Put that inside so and that's where the, the problem is. And uh, we have repaired it very easily. Because we cut all the floor out. So it all depends you want to call that easy or not.
Got a nice little piece going there. Straighten this out a little bit. Thanks for coming back, everybody. I appreciate it. The hat giveaway went awesome. It went awesome. Now we, now we have the back piece. We have this piece. Just cut a couple little V's cut out of it. And now we got this piece here. Let's get this piece ready. Let's get it ready. I'm going to cut a little V out of this. want to drill holes in all honesty but I have to and the reason being is I have a rib going across there I've got it marked out all the all the little points here I just kind of eyed it up and went for it you know to be honest with you look at Doug now get them he magnetized uh. girls he's available no he's not no he's not you're not available no, Doug married to my car <laughs> I, I think I think that's what you call Doug's hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right, he said. <laughs> Married to his car. Trying to put that in a piece of wood to be drill a lot easier. I'm drilling on right about that on the back side of that one, hopefully. Turn the drill the right way. Wow, that worked good. Hoping that they hit. Hoping. <laughs> it's funny, Jolene put a video on Facebook of me putting the mount between my feet and drilling it. Man, did I ever get called, you know, did everybody, you know, kind of lose it on that? And, and in all honesty, you have to think about it for a second. For me to take the mount, go to a drill press, get it geared up, get it clamped, get the hole down through it, unclamp it, bring it back, how much time that takes. For me to just weld it up, put it between my feet and drill it, I, I'd beat you every time when you went to the drill press. And basically that's the only reason I do not go to the drill press or run for this, or run for that, or do this, or do that, is because of the time. Everything good, Doug? I took a chunk out of my disc. <laughs> you might want to change it. Nah. Personal preference. Huh? Make her sharper, will it? I, I keep your head to the side if you're going to use it. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to.
Got her back in shape? No. That's a danger, danger. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I know. Danger, danger. You don't like it anymore. I can't yeah. say as I blame you. There's another yeah. one there. I'm making mess. Yeah. Grab another one. So I got that panel there drilled, and I'm going to put this one in. So a lot of stuff that I do, um, I do it because I think I'm saving saving time. One thing I, I want to to explain to people that are into old cars or fixing old cars or whatever. <laughs> what can I say? You cannot, you can, this, this, this hobby right here, what I'm doing right here and showing, putting a floor in, all that stuff, this is something that you do on your own. You are not going to build a car like this that's all rusty and, and needs all this work. You are not going to send it out and have something done to it and have something that you're going to make money on or be happy with when you sell it. And the reason being is it costs more to fix than you can to buy. So if you are, you know, if you're thinking of you want an old car, if you have the money and you want the old car, you don't want the pleasure of fixing it, I suggest that you go buy it done. If you want the pleasure of fixing it and the adventure of all that sort of stuff and you're not worried about the time and um, what it's going to cost you in the end, fantastic. Have a great time with it. But if you're into fixing cars like this and you think you're going to go forward um, fixing them and then selling them, you're not. You're, you're, you're not. I'm, that's the end of it. Um, basically, to make money on old cars, you have to buy and then just sell. Um, if you start working on them, you are going to lose your shirt. But what a great hobby it is. Love it. <laughs> I'm going to stick this piece in. You know, you have to ask yourself, when I'm done, what, what would this car be worth? Well, that right there. I don't like that right there. Right. Put it in there. I'm just going to pack this from the back side. Seems like the easiest place to put it from the back side. And it is the front side. Because I can weld it. I got a place to weld it. on the front there. I try to try to get my spots, or I try to face them out, re you know, relatively the same each way. It just looks better. It just, it just looks better. Well, I think it does. Keep that in mind when you're welding something up. Keep your distance to it. When I was putting uh, when I first done this, I think I explained it before, I made this piece before I made this piece. Now I'm going to have to repair that little piece. And I think that's a basic thing to do, but that's fine. Just wanted to show that. 
I gotta get out of here. another piece on that side. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the other piece. Now, I marked the center and I marked it. Okay. One on that side, right? Now I'm just gonna do this. Exact same thing I done there. Get it in place. Those pieces are in place, I hope. And hopefully we can use, um, we can weld them together when we weld them on there, just like I did that one. Let's put this piece. Take that, take that outside too, I guess. Yeah, you'll be hard pressed to build a car for so. What I'm, what I'm saying is, for $20,000, you could buy a real nice car like this. And just if you're looking around and you're, 20, say $25,000. There is no possible way that I'm fixing this car up, floor, trunk, quarter panels, welding it, stripping it, going back over, painting it, putting interior. There's no possible way that I would be able to build this car for $25,000. No possible way. So. You can, you can make up your mind how you're going to do it, but uh, if you're in love with your car and you want to build a car, fantastic. But do not think that you're going to build something cheaper than you're going to buy it. Just a piece of advice. Just so you don't, you, you don't get mixed up on where you're going. You know, and, and not everything is about money. <laughs> And it's about what, what, you, what you want to make yourself happy. So that's basically the end of it. Do what you want to make yourself happy. Want to knock everything off the back side. And it's because if I don't knock it off the back side like that and shave it all off, when it comes time to lay it in the car, there might be something underneath the back side and then it'll be holding you up and, and make you look bad. And uh, I don't need any help making me look bad. <laughs> do I, baby? No help. Nor do I. <laughs> Come on, just trying to get into a car, make me look bad.
Ba -ba 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 -ba. Loving it. We'll get it tacked on from the back side and make my. Hello, Doug. Hello. Oh, I have a floor panel. Oh, buddy. What's that, buddy? Oh, I have a floor panel. Good. Good. I can't. Every time I bend my head over my head, wants to fall off. That is for the passenger side. And I'm going to. Doug, will you give me pass me a pair of C clamps, please? Probably should have done it earlier, but I didn't on that one. Two, two pair will be fantastic. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not. to put that one in first because the holes are not grilled. Doug, if you want to pass me in that panel, um, where is that panel I want to drill the holes in? I didn't drill holes in anything, bud. Should be. You got one right here. That's, that's the one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It is pretty, isn't it? Somewhat. It sure is, man. Awesome. Now, I'm going to see how I got that lined up there. We're going to roll that together, all them pieces. We got them all like good, awesome, excellent. Beautiful. Yeah, let's do it. Douglas. There's Douglas out. That's all right. Need a hand, buddy? No. Uh, you have, you got something to do? I always got something to do, but it usually involves making noise. So, <laughs> see how I drilled that right on on that hole, right on that side. But I want to drill it on this side of the line. Okay. If you know what I'm trying to say. So like, sure. Yeah. Like, see how I got this here? So I drilled it on. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I start your thing back here. On, yeah. Stay on. The, I don't want to drill in that hole. I want to drill in between there. So on this the flat line. Spot. Yeah. I want it on the flat spot. Yeah. Wherever the thing is, if you know what I'm trying to sure tell you. The drill's over there, and there's a piece of wood over there if you want it. Yeah, I want to get where it's good here. Get where it's good. Yeah. It's tight on there. Tight on there. Looks straight on there. What I'm just looking for, just seeing if it's straight everywhere, if it's tight everywhere. Basically, that's what I'm looking for. This one here looks the best. You know? I want to knock that down some, to be honest with you. The
I want to um, weld it. My hammer right there. She's gonna pass me my hammer. Thanks, sweetheart. Still straight going through there. Let's do that. Obviously, you must be a couple places. I'm oh. saying they're down tight. So I'm going to concentrate on the on the heavy steel in between them where the triangles are, where the holes are. I'm going to concentrate on that, and I'm going to let the weld carry out to where the opening is. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, sweetheart. Just so I know I've got something that's going to stick. They're all tight and right down here. Why wouldn't I? Same for these things here. I'm going to concentrate on the center of the hole, and then I'm going to let the weld build out. That way, there, I'm hoping that I get penetration good. Not on the sheet metal. On the square stock, that's where I want that penetration at. Doesn't matter, sheet metal's thin. I can. I'm going to leave that for a second. Well, put this one in. And on this floor, I am not going to bead roll anything. Don't want to. I don't know why I don't want to, but I don't want to. And I can if I want to, but I don't feel like it. You got a hole drill? Yeah, I was thinking you drilled more holes than the other end, right? No. Okay. I got these in it, I think. These? V's for victory! V's? Am I supposed to cut V's too? Take a look at it. Does it? Nope, I haven't cut them out yet. Okay. You want a little V's in it, seriously? I never, I never noticed that you had little V's in the other one, so like... <laughs> I just had to drill the, drill the hey, piece of metal. You want you want a little V's, like, ch -ch. you want to go? You gonna do that? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, don't go, don't go, see how I got, don't go too far because I'll end up going past. See these little tiny things? Okay. So you're v in to the line, right. that little line there, so you're only yeah. going in a little tiny gotcha. base, just like that much. Yeah. And the line is right in the center of the V. All right, good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. It's under control, he's got it, boys, he's got it. <laughs> it's under control. I was paying attention to what you were doing. Probably should, then I know what's going on, right?
Doug doing that. I'm gonna make a little something. Yeah, I just wanna, I just nail that off. There's no sense in nailing that off. Getting something that's not strong, that's really strong there right now. I do not wanna nail it down and warp anything, if you know what I'm trying to say. There's spots of well that are going on there, it's all heat. So I may as well just jump out and make something for this right here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make something real quick. Fine job. Ah. So, I want to, I have to cut that off. <clears throat> You've got the piece, haven't you, Doug? Got you, got you, man. Okay. Little V's. Got my V's. Alrighty. We have to go over how much. Just gonna check this out for a second. So this is what I want to do. Yeah, a little bit of that. some shaving. I didn't shave this morning, did you? No, last night. And I hate it. It's completely annoying. <laughs> it is. Can you cut that so it's straight, old brother? About as straight as your line. <laughs> Do I need a mustache? No. <laughs> All right. See how that's going from from a yeah gotcha. from there to nothing. Yeah. And little and little little sharp spot off. Okay. And that's going to mess our V's up, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is. It is. Damn it! Didn't want that. I says, dang it! Didn't want that, Doug. That was not good. Uh, you could always just take a hammer and curl it up a little bit. Make it fit better. Uh, I don't want to work with a hammer. <laughs> poop. Poop. That's poopy. That is poopy. I still get a little bit of it. Jeez. All right. Leave the line. Cut on this side of the line, mm -hmm. on this side, okay? Mm -hmm. That side of the line, leave the line. Yep. Go up there, you probably leave that line, just cut the little tiny bit off. Oh, no, no thank you, see what happens. I'm gonna take that little tiny piece and go like that. that. Moving that over is gonna mess my V's up, and I should have paid attention to that before I did that, but I did not. Sitting up near the back. That fits better. Fits a lot better. Trace it off on the other side. That uh, Doug to cut off. Crazies. Crazies. All right, I'm coming back in again. This is a hard spot because it's got the muffler there. I want to stand on that muffler. 
<laughs> I can cut it and off then for a break you if you want. No, <laughs> no, I'm not going. I can cut there. that break line for you too if you want. No, don't want to do that either. You can cut that line there. I want the small piece. Excellent. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get this bad boy in here. Eh, we're not off by much. We're fitting better though. Look how tight we're there. See where it's not sitting up there. We're right on the middle there. We're we'll overlapped there a little tiny bit. We're right tied up against our wheel well. That's good. That's good. Now I'm gonna give you another cut. Why not? Didn't doubt you a bit, buddy. That's where I wanted. I'm thinking. That's where I want it. We want a little gap in there. Because we want to weld down through the center also. He can cut it as straight as my line. You heard him. <laughs> They're always perfectly straight. <laughs> just just which one to cut that's all that's right <laughs> you can cut the line on that Douglas if you like please let's take a blade at a time until I'm out of line just cut you can cut the the black line off okay I've got lots of there Good enough. I've got an inch there so I got a little bit of allowance once that makes you happy piece of right there buddy there's a follow-up you want to do more I want to check this out see what it looks like I can weld that down there, it looks nice. So we'll probably spot that on there. Got it straight, get it straight, spot that on there, and then we'll weld that up that seam. It's not something I was counting on, but it's something I did. happens have to straighten up your metal yeah like that let's take off the marker I don't like the marker on it I'm gonna take that off sand it off Have this little piece saved there. I'm going to start plucking that piece on. You took all the stuff off the back, Doug. Yep. Alrighty. You have. We have a pattern. The both sides are not going to be the same on this, and the reason being is the dry shaft's not in the center of the of the vehicle. It's off to an angle on one side, so the patterns on making the floor pans are not going to be the same. But I'm going to use the pattern, and we're going to add to it. If you want to grab, I'm going to get in the other side. It's, it seems to be easier. Okay. Patrick, Patrick. What's that, brother? Patrick. Okay. Um, need tape over here. It's going to be flopped over here somehow. Now, that looks good there. That looks pretty good there. Good. So so. Good, good, good. All right. I'm going to make a straighter line up through here, and we need to add 
We'll measure that and we'll add it. Just take that. Thank you. The line right. on this one is not that. Going across the back, good. Now all I'm trying to do is make the line a little bit straighter on this side and just add the tape. So when we make our patterns, we're up there a little bit on that. And we have to add... Watch yourself, sweetheart. Put all the Bristol board no, channels. I'm just going to... You're going to add to the line. That's all you're going to have to do because it works. Okay. It works. Um, we want to add... Two and a quarter inches. Two and one quarter. So when... Pull this bad boy up. On your straight edge of your metal, or bigger. If you want to get a, I don't know where you want to start, Doug, to be honest with you. I say two and a quarter. You did. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Right on that line, Doug, you want that, that piece. There you go. So, you try to get along that tape. Can you mark along that tape there? I got a marker. You got a marker? PA, and then you got your piece. You got it. We want this. We want this though. Oh yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, I was going to cut that off. So this is you want. We want this. You're going to cut through up through there, and that's, we're just making it two and two and a quarter wider. That's all. Yep. Cool. All right. I'm going to put the back piece in. You'll be able to flick the welder on for me, we sweetheart. You're the best. You're the bestest, man. You're the bestest. There's no sense. I need a helmet. I've noticed that the videos are going a bit longer, but it's really hard to get something done, you know, in that in the in the hour, you obviously know. There we go. We got some gap yeah. in between there now. And now we get this piece on. Go we got, we're all ready to rock and roll. That looks good. Yeah, yeah. All looks good. Fantastic. One's in place, or one's holding it, and two, it's in place. Yeah, a little bit of a gap going on there. That's not anything I, I can't deal with. There's a baby. Nothing I can't deal with. Gotta make sure we get it in place. We're off a little bit on our on our triangles, but 
We're good everywhere else. Concentrate on the center. Let the weld build its way out. And that way there you'll have not many issues of warpage or penetration. the best thanks man okay <laughs> don't want to hammer the floor too much I do not I just had to knock it down there a little bit trying to absorb some heat, more or less. I'm going to leave that alone for a minute. I don't want to warp anything. I'll tighten right. We'll push this down after. We'll get that down in there and push that. Let's grab the floor pan that Doug made us. Doug? Yes. <laughs> do, do you want to bring me the, the first floor pan you cut out? No, I don't. No, no. What? Okay, I remember where I put it. That was like three minutes ago. It's good and tight. Good and tight. Awesome. That's the first one you cut? Yep. Let's go over this side, old, old brother.
Um, um, biggest end is up back here. I think that's it. Just me guessing. Okay, lift it up for the back of that. Alright, that was good. Another thing too, what I want, if you shut the door, oh you can't shut the door, take that. Resected, just take that. Shut the door, old buddy. And then Jolene will take a look in. What, what I'm looking for, I want that. If you're going to take a look, see, I want this piece of metal nice and straight down with the door. That's what I'm looking for, or that's what I want. I want that piece of metal going straight down along there. It just, just look nicer, and we'll overlap the sill. And, and don't have to, don't have to. But overlap the sill so now if anything gets in here, it would run down and run off, not in. On the inside sill, as you can see, the inside sill did not weld that up solid. Had a discussion with Jolene on that. I weld it back here solid. And the reason being because I it's this floor is up, and you can see that back there. It's welded solid right up to right to about here somewhere. It's welded solid back there. But on this inside sill where I'm sitting, it's not. And neither is either is the the rocker panel welded solid, but it's welded on really good. So when the metal panel, that like that metal panel, comes over and lays on here and lays on top of that, I'm going to be able to get underneath the car and seam seal that so you're not going to be able to see that and that's be sealed off so no water or dirt and mud can get up in and go down through. So the panel's coming laying over like this and I'm coming from the underneath and I'm going to seam seal all that so it's not visible uh, to clean it up. And that's what they do on cars. They use seam sealer and stuff like that to seal it up. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Not putting any bead rolls or step, stepping it back or not doing any of that. Uh, the reason is, this is, or I think I already said it, I don't feel like it. So where this piece is in here, and it's in here fairly where we want it to be. Like it looks pretty darn good where, where I want it to be. Doug's going to go underneath with a marker after he gets doing, done what he's doing and then we'll trace out all the ribs so we know they're all at so we can drill it. All right, I want my welder back if please and thank you. Please and thank you. Oops, I almost met my wife. She's not only filming, she's working. Right. Let's do this one. I'm going to go and leave the market off. Beautiful. And putting this floor in flat like this, just something a little different. Why not? gonna mark you want to come on the passenger on this side over here Doug and just push down on this like yeah okay you got it push down the corner a little bit there but yeah. Yeah, you got it very good
know where that one's at because it's halfway. We're halfway ones are, right? guessing like you say it's my party and I get to guess if I want to guess that's good enough <laughs> yeah you guess eh? just guess nothing wrong with guesswork man well as long as it's educated and guess it's the way you want it <laughs> all right let's pull this bad boy up holy Pull this bad boy out. Look at the design. And we get to see what we going on here. <sighs> it obviously matches up. It obviously matches up. And this obviously go here. This obviously goes here. <laughs> this is caterpillar. The last one. I'm gonna mark the holes and I'll get you to drill, okay, Doug? Sure thing, man. Okay, buddy. I'm here for you, dude. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. All right, we got the. Um, we want to plant it down on that with holes, do we, or do we want to just knock it on the edge? <laughs> on this part, we have to drill holes. That is. And that is the outside floor, so. This is outside the frame. This is where it sits on the sill. And this is where it goes up to um, the tunnel. Um, we don't need to go on the tunnel because I'm going to weld on the outside of the tunnel. So we just need to go. I'm just wondering if I'm going to spot it on down the back. Or am I going to just... Yeah, we'll drill it. More guesswork. Something like that, Douglas. with that for now this stuff here um, we'll be able to, to actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to V that before we put it in so I'm not going to do anything on that we'll just V it because we're going halfway on this mm -hmm. we'll just V it like we did that over there just make it simpler on that piece on the tunnel this is where the tunnel is I'm going to nail it on the outside instead of trying to spot it down to that square stock I'm going to nail it on with, with what we got going on there but if you want to take in the drill and drill only the holes or only the spots that I have, I'd be happy. Um, that's not true because we have to do this. We have to put some holes down here. It's going to be now I'm probably going to V that 
down here just because I don't want to drill the holes down the edge. I want to make sure it stays, that's for sure. Yeah, just drill those holes, that'll be fine. If you want to, the drill, you got the drill and drill bit? I do. All right. I'm ready to rock, I got another buddy. piece over here, the other four panels, right where, Douglas? In there, ready to rock and roll? <coughs> no, I set it over here, right by your oil machine there. Thank you, appreciate I'm, it. I'm the Caterpillar man here. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna throw this in. Doug. Yes. But just for shits and giggles. Giggle giggle. Um I wonder if we should What's up? Ooh, that's nice. Lovey dovey. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful, just like that. You're lucky I almost cut that line off. No, <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. We really appreciate it. Um, we're putting in the floor. Um, it won't be take long. We're not gonna go up here real quick. Uh, there's a few things I have to do up in there. But if you can take notice, the all the little tiny, little tiny places that have been taken care of in here. Uh, there's a little tiny piece of gap missing over here. There's a little gap missing over there. Um, the sills are excellent as far as that goes for strength. Have no problem with it. Um, yeah. Like, share, come back, comment. Have a great day, everybody.